Hi, in this video we're going to be learning how to install and set up Parcel to bundle our projects. First of all, what is Parcel? Well, according to Parcel.js.org, Parcel is a blazing fast zero configuration web application bundler. Now, I couldn't have phrased it any better, like describing Parcel, because these are the two main advantages you get using Parcel. Now, I know you might be thinking, why not use Webpack? Now, in my honest and concise opinion, for a fully fledged bigger application, I would still use Webpack because Webpack offers more customizability, a whole host of really useful plugins, and is a more mature tool, and therefore it's more stable and the community is bigger behind it. However, if I were getting some project started and I want to quickly prototype and, you know, an app and start fiddling with it, I don't want to waste any time configuring Webpack, and that's the advantage you get with parcels with parcel. So, uh, of course, as well, you depending on who you ask, you might be getting a different answer. Now, the other advantage, the blazing fast advantage, if you look here, if you scroll down on the page, you see that it's got half the time of the um, the bundling that Webpack takes. And the bigger advantage of using parcel is that the subsequent bundling requests um, take really, really like short amounts of time. So the first call to bundle it takes some time, but the second and, and onwards take really short amounts of time. Anyway, so if you want to read more about Parcel, you can go to their website. Uh, so let's get to the code and implement Parcel. All right, here on my desktop, I'm going to open a um, terminal window. I'm going to make a directory called uh, Parcel. So make their Parcel. I'm going to cd into that. And here I'll do npm init dash y and I'm assuming you have node.js and npm installed so we can install packages and here I'm going to create three files so I'm going to say touch index.html app uh, app.css and app.js I'm going to run code dot to open everything in vs code and here we go we get our files let me make the text bigger so here uh, we're going to install parcel right away. So let's open up uh, ter the terminal in this directory and do npm install dash dash save parcel. Um, sorry, dash dash save dev because it's the dev dependency parcel dash bundler. All right, now that it's done installing, let's actually start populating our files. So here in the HTML file, I'm going to say doc tab which is going to automatically generate all of this. Let's say parcel here. And here let's put a, a div with a class header. And we're just going to put a header one saying, I don't know, welcome to website. And here let's say I want to put a paragraph and I want to show the date here, like the today's date. But of course I want to do that dynamically from the JavaScript file. And here I'm going to give it an ID so that we can fetch it. Let's call this date. Now what's cool about Parcel is that uh, if you open up the node modules, you'll see that Babel is installed and behind the scene it's using Babel to um, compile uh, JavaScript and even ES6 JavaScript. So if you prefer to use that syntax, you can as well. Um, and here in this app.js, actually let's link this app.js file. Here let's say a script with a source attribute and this source will be in the same directory app.js. And while we're here, let's as well link the app CSS. So here I'm going to say link tab and the link will be to app.css. Um, All right. So in our app.js, what we want to do is we want to get the, let's say const uh, date text, and we want to get this paragraph. So here we'll just say equals to document dot get element by ID. And the idea will be date. And here we'll do, um, actually I'm going to use a package called moment for this to, to get the date and format it. So here, let's say npm install dash dash save moment. And while it installs, we can actually uh, write our code. And what's cool, we can use ES6 syntax. So we can say import moment from moment. And here I'll say, I'll change the text of this paragraph element and say date text dot inner text 
equals, uh, I'll do backticks. So we can write a template string and say today is, here let's do dollar sign curly braces to put a variable or an expression. I'm gonna say moment and we pass this the date. So let's say new date, just gonna be referred to right now. And here I'll say dot format and I'm gonna use uh, the format quadruple M so that it shows the the entire name of the month and D O like this and quadruple Y. All right, so this should do the trick. Change the date to today's date. And while we're here, let's go to the app CSS and let's say the head like the header one or the heading one that's under the header div will have a font size of uh, say five rem and the paragraph as well will have a font size of two okay two rem and let, or two rather let's actually give it a color as well so color I have this written down let's give it a blue color of hash zero one eight eight f f and yeah, this is it. Let's save. And the way parcel works, we can call the command parcel and call it on the file that our main file, which is index, index.html. And this will bundle all the assets that are linked in, in here. So it will bundle app.js and app.css and whatever assets that are referenced inside of those files as well will be bundled along. And we can install it globally and call the command from the terminal, or we can install it as a dev dependency like we've done and call an NPM script. I'll replace this test script by a, a, a start script with a start script. And this script will say parcel the command and we'll say index.html, simple as this. Now, if I run npm start, it will now bundle all the assets into a dist folder like you see here. And there we go, it's done. And it's serving at this port and there we go. We get our welcome to website and we get date, but it doesn't work because I made a typo, document is not defined. <laughs> all right, let's go to the app.js. Here it's document like this. And there we go, we get April 22nd, 2019. That's cool. So it's bundled all of moment inside of this um, app.js here, um, app.something.js. And as you can see right now, it's not minified. This is uh, just a development build. We can as well do a production build by running the uh, parcel build command. So let's actually add a script for that. So here we can add a script Let's call it build and here let's say um, parcel build index.html, simple as this. Uh, now we can run, let's stop this command line and say npm run build. Now it's built everything. And now if we, if you look at the files, you'll see that they're minified. So all the extra white space is removed. So the, the file size is dropped down uh, drastically. As you can see here, our main bundle is 53 kilobytes, which is essentially the size of moment. All right, so here I'll again do start. And let's say you wanted to use uh, SAS or SCSS, which is one of my, um, favorite tools for styling because you don't want to write dot header dot something you want to nest this code so that it makes more sense we can simply change this to app dot scss and let's ignore this for now and here what i want to write is i'll leave this dot header like this but remove the header one and inside of here we'll have header one and give it the font size and here we'll give the paragraph as well. So let's say P and then paste the styling that we have and we can even use variables um, and we can even store variables in a different file. It's a good convention. So let's say uh, underscore variables 
Of course, we don't have many variables in this case, but I'm just showing you the um, how you would use this. So we can say here, um, blue or our blue, you can name it whatever you want, and it will be this. And in the app C uh, SCSS, we can say at import variable, variables. And here for color, we'll just give that variable that we just created, our blue. And let's say I want to like um, center everything. Let's add a text align property or, or rule and give it the value of center. And here in the index HTML, we can remove this app CSS. We no longer have that. And in app JS, we can import the CSS. So import from the same directory um, app.scss like this. Let's save all files. And it automatically starts installing SAS, which is pretty cool. It's done building. And if we look at our app, there we go. The text is centered. Everything is the same. The blue is the same, even though it's outsourced to a different file. And uh, everything is minified and built here, uh, which is pretty nice. So we didn't have to write any Webpack config file or anything like that. And uh, we can even adjust certain things. Let's say uh, you didn't want the cache uh, folder once you build your assets because it's a production build you can as well add uh, flags here you can say dash dash no um, on, uh, cache like this and you can as well specify so let's say for example you're used to a convention of uh, building stuff to a build folder you can say here dash dash out for output there for directory equals build and now it's gonna uh, put everything in a folder called build. And let's say as well, one of the things that I wanna do in the production, I don't want these source map folders because uh, files because I don't need them. And let's say as well, we can add no underscore source maps. And uh, here let's save. And now I'll run, let's delete these two folders. And now I'll run npm run build and it should now create a build folder and it does and it shouldn't now create any cache folder or any source map files, which is pretty cool. We get only three files and they're minified and everything is here and they're really uh, small. And if I navigate to the build and run live server there, it's the exact same application that we had there we go, this is our app. So this is it guys, I just wanted to show you the uh, bare bones of how to set up Parcel. Of course, you later are gonna use multiple libraries, multiple files and all of that. And you could as well put all your files in a uh, SRC fol uh, folder, a convention like you see in uh, front-end frameworks. So yeah, you can do so much with Parcel and so quickly. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.